Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is a preview of the Canon EOS M50. Now, some of you may be saying, Jared, why are you doing a preview of this camera, and why did you title it the way that you did? Well, because I think this might be the best option for a vlogging camera that's come out on the market for a long time for a large sect of the industry that's looking for a camera just like this. Oh, hey, Kitty, thanks for joining me. So if you want to check out a real-world review of the Canon EOS M5 that we did, you can hit the I in the top right-hand corner or the link is down in the description below. Now I have a ton of specs on this paper that I don't really want to go over because it's about who this camera is for and why I think it's going to be a really good option for people to look at. But I'll start with some of the specs. You've got a 24.1 megapixel CMOS sensor. It's a crop sensor, which means any lens that you put on this camera will be multiplied by 1.6 to get the 35 millimeter equivalent. Now keep in mind, this is a mirrorless camera. You have options to shoot with the mechanical shutter first and foremost, as well as with a silent shutter because it offers you those options. It can do 10 frames a second. Now, depending on if you're doing single focus or continuous focus, that frame rate will change. You can shoot up to 10 RAW files in a row or 33 JPEGs. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good buffer, though that is only one second, so it's maybe not that good of a buffer. But I don't think this camera is really... It's, it's good for shooting photos, but I think it's really meant for... Are you trying to bite my microphone, Kitty? but it's really meant for the video. And I wanna to move to some of the, oh, before I do that, you have a Digic 8 processor in there. It's the first camera to use the Digic, don't bite my microphone, thank you, Kitty. It has a Digic 8 processor, first camera to do that. You're gonna start seeing that put into future Canon cameras. It offers a new RAW format, CR3, not CR2. They say because the Digic 8 processor has added some new functions that they're able to get more data in the, CR2, the CR3 file than the CR2. They also added a RAW C, which is a smaller file. If you're shooting stills, I highly recommend that you shoot RAW. Now, this has dual pixel AF, which is one of the best features that you can find in any camera for doing autofocus. They also added IAF for when you're shooting stills. Now, the dual pixel AF comes in handy when you're shooting video. Now, this camera can shoot 4K. Now, people have been waiting for a smaller camera from Canon to do 4K, and this does it. You get 24 frames a second up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds, but there's a caveat. The caveat is if you're shooting 4K, you lose the dual pixel AF functionality, which is really stupid. Why did they limit the camera to not use dual pixel AF is beyond me. So I had to jump in here real quick because I want to point out one more caveat in 4K. It is a cropped 4K. It doesn't use the full sensor that is in this camera, meaning if you put a 15 millimeter lens on this camera, you multiply it by 1.6 to get your 24 millimeters. Then if you shoot 4K video, you multiply that 24 by 1.7 and you get 40. That's right, 40 millimeters. You will not be vlogging with this camera, especially in 4K. That means that the only reason there's 4K in this camera is that it's a marketing ploy. It's not really a great 4K for vlogging. Now that's not gonna change my feelings on the rest of this camera, but if you're looking for 4K to vlog with, this camera's not gonna be it. But if you're gonna shoot 1080, you have full control of your dual pixel AF, which is, for, which is perfectly fine for the vlogs that I'm personally shooting. Now what makes this camera one of the best options for shooting vlogs is the fact that it has a very angle three inch touchscreen, which means it can flip out, it can rotate, so that when you're holding the camera out like this, you can go ahead and see yourself or touch the screen to get the focus where you need it to be. In the past, Canon has had it flip over to the top, which is blocked by the microphone, or they've had it flip down below, which is blocked by the gorilla pod or tripod that you have it on. So finally, a flippy out rotatable screen is a better option for people that are vlogging. What else do we have here? We have a microphone jack built in. That means you can put better audio into this camera for your vlogs. They're gonna sell a creator's kit for this, for a video creator kit, which is smart. Kitty, thank you. Thank you for being here, um, which, which is a smart idea. Now, I think this oh, SD card, almost forgot to say SD card. This is a great camera option for those vloggers out there. Now, I've been using this to vlog. It's a 6D Mark II, which is a full frame camera. It's been great for what I've done. 1635 2.8, yes, they make an F4, but this is a heavy ass setup. This setup is over three and a half pounds. 
The Canon EOS M50 weighs under a pound, and when you add a lens onto it, it's not adding very much weight at all, which means it's a great option for all of those kids running around who want to be the next YouTube sensation and the next YouTube star, or for me, because I want to have something lighter when I'm traveling that still gives me good quality, meaning it's going to be better than a one-inch sensor camera because it's a crop sensor camera, and it's also going to give me the dual pixel AF with a rotatable flippy out screen and a mic jack. So you can see why right there I think this might be the best option for vloggers to, to look into. Also, it comes in white, it comes in black. I wish it came in purple, because if it came in purple, I'd be the only one who bought it. But that's really that. Now the pricing. You're looking at $779.99 for the body only. With a kit with a 15 to 45 millimeter lens, you're looking at $899.99. The problem with the 15 millimeter lens is that when you multiply it by 1.6, you're looking at 24 millimeters. That's not that wide when you're trying to vlog, which means you may want to look into Canon's 11 to 22 EOS M mount lens, which will give you the equivalent of a 17 millimeter on the wide angle, which is going to be much better for when you're holding it in front of your face for a long period of time. And by the way, because it's much lighter, you don't have to work out as much like you do when you use this camera. It's the only reason I work out is because this is so heavy, over three and a half pounds, that I have to hold out in front of me. And yeah, I do get tired. So I think this is going to be a fantastic option for the vlogger running around. Is it expensive at $899 with a kit, with a lens? I mean, it's more expensive than your cell phone. But then again, if you have an iPhone 10, that was more expensive than this. Look, if you're a new vlogger out there and you want to get, you want to have the option to shoot stills, you want to have the option to shoot your vlogs for most of the part, then I don't think you can go wrong with this for shooting 1080. 4K, if you lock it off in position, it's going to be good because then you don't have to worry about autofocusing. So if you want to shoot 4K there, that's perfectly fine. I don't think 4K is needed, even though everybody's been fighting for it. I don't think it's needed in this type of camera, especially if you're just shooting vlogs. I don't think it matters at all. But I do think this is going to be a great option for anybody that's up and coming who's looking for a vlogging camera to make themselves some YouTube videos. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, what do you think about this camera? Leave it down below in the comments. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Kitty, it's time to do a sign-off. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. To check out the Canon EOS M5 Real World Review, go ahead and click on the screen right now to check out the latest video. That's over here as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And that's it, guys. Please do something. Kitty's asking you nicely. Please click on me.